History was made here tonight at the TD Garden where the Providence Friars defeated Boston University Terriers 4 to 3 in the championship game. I mean, no, I can't think of it. I mean, we worked hard all spring, oh, all last spring, this fall, to get ready for something like this. And it's just so surreal that we're here right now. And it hasn't kicked in yet that we're national champs, but got to give a lot of credit to BU. They played a heck of a game and they had a great season. And I mean, right now, I just, I don't even know how to feel. Unbelievable. I mean, it's just a complete effort. Every guy, every night, uh, just bringing it. And a new guy every night, Tana with a big goal there. Uh, and Tom with, you know, just throw it on net. And just kind of everyone buying in the last couple of weeks, really believing in each other. And that, that was all, really. It's just everyone buying in. And, and it's an unbelievable feeling, the way to go out. So, Well, congratulations on the goal. Did you think that you'd ever be able to score on Matt O'Connor there and coming into the BU game here tonight? Uh, you know, it, wasn't, it didn't even cross my mind. Uh, you know, I was focusing on defense tonight, and uh, I saw a puck squirt out, and uh, I saw an opportunity. I just tried to get it on net, and, uh, you know, our forwards are doing a great job crashing the net, so I found, uh, found a hole. You know, was, you just got to play desperate and, uh, you know, desperate times, call, call for desperate measures, and, uh, you know, all the guys bought in, and um, I think uh, the loss against UNH really motivated us, so. You know, we played a great team tonight in BU, and, and they had us on our heels for, you know, a lot of the game, and, um, you know, we managed to kind of hang in there and hang in there, and, uh, you know, saved our best for the last. It's kind of like our season this year where we started off a little slow, and, um, and you know, just kind of found ourselves and got better and better. Uh, we were just—it was so quiet in our locker room after the first because they, they took it to us, and we hadn't we hadn't uh, seen that in a while. So, um, you know, we we're just trying to keep it positive, trying to get them going. But uh, but really, you know, it's on the ice when when a couple little things happen well, and you build momentum, build momentum. Um, I thought our power play helped us build momentum tonight, and. You know, obviously, I mean, Johnny was terrific. I mean, let's let's you know, let's let's make sure that uh, everyone, I mean, everyone that saw the game knows that. But you know, Johnny was terrific, and uh, and that was the difference. He was the difference maker in the game. And what about Junior goaltender John Gillies made a record-breaking 32 saves in 30 minutes, combining for 49 saves on the night, earning him the MVP honors of the tournament. So, 49 saves, MVP tournament. How does it feel? Uh, I mean. That doesn't matter to me. We could have won that game by any score. It's just then you see that fourth goal go in and you say now it's crunch time. It's five minutes for what you've been working for all year. So just try to bear down. And thankfully, the guys uh, really came through and didn't, I didn't have to do too much after that point. So it was uh, it was an unbelievable team win. And couldn't be happier. Well, what does it mean to you and to the rest of the team to have Drew Brown here tonight? It seems like he's just been a wonderful, proud inspiration for all of you at every single game. Every goal was kind of played for Drew Brown this season. Oh, I mean, un unbelievably so throughout the entire year. And I, I think uh, he got a little annoyed with me on the ice after we won because I was telling him like probably 10 times in a row how he was our MVP and he was our everything and that I loved him. I mean, you can't, uh, you can't say enough about his character and what he brings to our team. And um, he, he is everything to us, like I said, and uh, we couldn't be happier to have him here and we couldn't be happier to get it done for him. I mean, it's, it was so special for Drew to be here with us this weekend. Uh, I'm happy to say he's cancer free and I've known Drew for uh, the past three years and he's just an amazing person and uh, can't speak highly enough for him to be here and kind of just experience this. Unfortunately, wasn't able to play, but I mean, this is, this is for Drew Brown as well. Like he's fought so hard with cancer, obviously, but just for him to be with us, I think that means the world to every single person on our team. And what does it feel like right now? Unbelievable. Just seeing all our support around us. and You have a lot of fans. Yeah, it's great. They're great fans. It's unbelievable. And I can't believe this is happening. It's unbelievable. The support they showed, uh, especially the last couple of weeks, but over my four years. Every year it's just been growing and growing. And this is not only for us, but for the fans and for the alum and for everyone that's put the jersey on in the past. This is for everyone. So it's an unbelievable feeling. All right, well, congrats. It was all around a great night for Hockey East between the two teams and selling out the garden with over 18,000 fans here tonight cheering on your teams. For more information and all the highlights of the game, head on over to HockeyEastOnline.com and make sure to check out our Facebook and Twitter pages. I'm Elizabeth Thomas for Hockey East.